Hello everyone. So today, different one, Raspberry Pi case. Now I've got the Raspberry Pi 4 at long last and in here is the 8 gigabyte version. I'm probably going to do another video somewhere along the line with this, but for now this is purely about this case. Now as cases go, this is lovely. And I don't know whether you can use the word lovely for a case, but it is, it's a great case. Now the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, it, it does by all the reading that I've done uh, suffer from overheating and this case not only comes with a well ventilated area you know there's plenty of uh, space for this to go but you've got a fan on I've not plugged this in yet uh, but I will do and what we can do is we can hear it up and running now I had intended to do a build video but for certain circumstances uh, I didn't do it uh, and I just built it but the instruction set itself so you get a nice little card like this and it goes through on how how to build it and it's not actually too difficult it's pretty straightforward the only thing that I would criticize about this is the text um, and some of the images but apart from that you you, you can go through uh, what I did it actually do is I photographed uh, the images on my phone and then zoomed in and you can get by with that part of it is common sense but you go through and it's absolutely fine now as cases go uh, it's not actually all expensive I think I paid $14.99 I'll put the link in the description below as always uh, because this it's a very good case it's nice it's it's sleek it's very well made um, there's no real issues with this at all the only thing I did find slightly difficult was just pressing the board into the bottom of the case uh, once everything's all assembled but apart from that just to, you know just be gentle with it and you'll be fine you don't want to break, break a board again the fans not up and running but what I'll do is I shall take the lid off put the fan on turn it on and then you can hear it up and running I've got the lid off now, but I might as well just show you this. So this is the board with the heat sinks. You get all the heat sinks for all the chips. Uh, you can see I wasn't exactly level with one of them, but they're on the chips that need to be. And what I'm going to be doing with this is not going to be overly intensive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the fan to the GPIO pins. Now, whilst, whilst I do that, I can't do it whilst I'm, I'm filming, but unfortunately this fan is just positive and negative you know with five volts and your ground now that does cause one slight issue that this fan is on permanently it's it's frustrating yes but I'm, I'm probably going to upgrade this fan so I can actually control it by uh, ports with or actually get some settings so when it gets to temperature it overheats uh, and then kicks in but with this it probably won't get to that anyway it will literally just run so so let's get it uh, plugged in So now we've got the the fan now connected. Now for those who are wanting to know, if I just hoik this over here, it's going to try and stay in focus. What you need to do is I'll hold it like this with the GPI pins to the to the right. So on the right hand side of the bank, you have your five volt in the second pin down and then your ground in the third pin down and that's on the right hand side so that's that so we put the case now back together and you know part part rebuild you know you got you get given a nice allen key and also a little screwdriver pretty cool and uh, so what we'll do is we'll put these screws back in And again, this case is really nice to work with and it looks good as well. I did try 3D printing with one of the printers, a case, and I decided against it. Uh, I have got some spare heat sinks, but for now they can just stay where they are.
so there we go as quick as that now all I need to do is pop in the power supply which you can never remember where it is on this where have I gone to where's it disappeared to there we go stick it in that there we go. there we go the fan is now up and running um I don't know whether you can hear that I mean it doesn't seem that loud I mean I can hear it's probably on par with my uh, PC that's running at the moment but there you go uh, nice little case again Raspberry Pi 4 case with fan and heat sinks again I think it's 14.99 if I say 14.99 it's cheaper then it's still a bargain but for what you get I would highly recommend this company what are the uh, designed by 52 pi for the Raspberry Pi 4 um, yeah I'll put the link in there you know again it's really good um the only thing i think we may struggle with is gpio pin operation they've got the slats on either side and i've got uh, as we reach over my raspberry pi a i think it is the one of the first iterations uh for uh, controlling relays we, we might get this into interaction and uh, i'm also going to be showing a bit of uh, using the raspberry pi 4 in this instance and uh, chat gbt it's it's becoming evolving this helps the development of this stuff very very rapidly but anyway that's enough for me rambling for now uh, if you like this obviously do the usual like share and subscribe and i'll see you all later thanks